All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to walk you through an automation that I call automated journalists. And the reason I call it that is because I use um, perplexity to gather information about the previous day. And then I load it into um, chat GPT to create different headlines and topics from the previous day and then report those this is going to be the second half of the automation so that they can be reported through social media but this first half i'm just going to go through walking it through perplexity to chat gpt and then storing the data into Airtable. so that being said i am going to start with perplexity we are going to create a chat completion i like to use mixtral for my message, I'm going to use a system role first. I'm going to do this. I have now in here, and if you don't know how to get to now, just come over to your calendar and click now. Okay. Then I'm going to have my user role. My user role is going to be here. Okay. So. Let me explain this real quick. For mine, I am making mine a political journalist. Um, so it says you're a political investigator who is always on top of breaking news. Your focus right now, being in an election year, 2024, is the presidential election between Joe Biden and Donald Trump. Each day you find news regarding each candidate's polling and the election so that you're informed and can send information to your publisher to generate content. Today is now. And then from the user role, find out what happened yesterday. So we take today minus one, which would be yesterday, and put together the top news that focuses on Donald Trump, Joe Biden, and the 2024 presidential election. Okay, I'm just going to click OK now. And we're going to run this module. While this is running, I'm going to go ahead and, oh, so it's done already, let's come through and take a gander message contents here are the new stories from june 11 2024 related to donald trump and joe biden in the 2024 presidential election there we go so it gave us 10 different options for our uh, topics to talk about so by doing this we're going to have 10 new social media posts that we can post today about yesterday's news and then tomorrow we'll have 10 new ones about today's news so the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add a chat GPT module. I'm going to create a completion. I'm going to use the newest uh, method. Oops. I'm going to use the newest model, which is GPT 4.0. I am going to create the role of an assistant. My assistant message. I'm going to copy and paste this in, and I'm going to have access to this in my chat or in my uh, description so that you all have access to the link to this. So this just kind of explains how I want it as well as an example because I want this returned in JSON format. I'm going to come down and add a message. The role is going to be user and it's going to be the information that we get from max token zero. Advanced. I don't want this to be too far off. I'm going to do 0.6 so that it's not crazy news. And then I'm going to have this return as a JSON object. Okay. Oops. Let's save. Okay. Yep. There we go. Okay. So now when I run it, <laughs> see what our result looks like. There we go. We got a JSON. We've got our posts. And our post content perfect so i'm going to copy this now because the next step i'm going to do is i'm going to create a json parser my json string structure add my new data structure is going to be called um political journalist parser journalist parser there we go we'll generate we generate based off the data Boom. Save. JSON string will be our results. Okay. 
Now I just want to run this module only. And because we already saved the results, we're going to put that in there. Okay, so our bundle now is going to be posts and content. So now we're going to do, I'm going to do a flow control iterator. My array is going to be posts. Okay. And then for each post, I want to put this into an Airtable table. I want to create a record. I'm going to use my political reporter that I built. And I guess I should open up Airtable here to show you that in Airtable, I'm going to go to political reporter. So I'm going to go to Airtable. I'm going to look at my political reporter. You can see that there's no posts. We're going to pick that table, table one. Post. It's going to come through here. Date. Once again, we're going to use that now. We're not going to map the status. We're just going to pick up unpublished. And to walk you through how I set up my air table, I just set up a post field, long text, date field, which is obviously a date, platform, which is a multi select. This way you can go in and you can select if you want what, what platform you want it on. Status, which I just have is published and unpublished, and then last modified date, which we'll use to automate the process for um, posting this to social media. So now we're going to go through, we're going to save this, run out of line. I'm going to run this and see how it works. It may not work the first time because it may be pulling different variables um, for my array, and then I just have to go in and select which one is the correct one to put in an air table. But um, it looked like it was pulling it up in the iterator, so we'll see if it works or not, even though we didn't run that module by itself. All right, we created 10. There they are. So. There we go. So all of this is information from yesterday, which is great. So we can post all this today. And when I come into Airtable, what I can do is I can come in and I can put in which platforms I want to post this on. And then once we change that and modify it, then we can run another uh, automation based off of that because we can watch those Airtable rows. So very easy automation to fill up your, your pipeline, if you will, of articles, news articles about specific topics that you can do to, uh, to automate that process. And we did this all in under eight minutes. So I hope you liked the video. Stay tuned for the next video where we'll walk you through the social media posting. Thanks and have a great day.